Some of us hear the word art and think an art gallery isn't for me or it's a very expensive investment to make. But reporter Lindsay Thies is on Vinton Street today to tell us how to get a piece of the next big artist's work for only a couple of bucks. Lindsay, how is that possible? Yeah, not too bad, Emily. So I have $5 here and I'm going to show you how it works. Uh, I'm feeling generous. I'll, I'll get you a piece of art since it only costs five bucks. What would you like? A, uh, a pocket dream catcher or a hand sketched uh, dinosaur? Uh, the dream catcher. Sorry, Jim, no, I made no, this no, decision. That's, right. that's, okay, that's an executive perfect. decision, Em. Go ahead. And <laughs> All right, so here we go. I got my money in, and I'm just going to pick it, and here it goes. Doesn't look too bad, right? So we'll open it up and see what your personalized pocket dream catcher looks like. It's this beautiful stone. Oh, I love it. We got some orange and some yellow and blue. And then in there is a hand-woven purple thread around it. So this is one of several pieces good that you pick. can get it here good. at yeah. Collin. See, you like my pick machine. I made? That executive decision yeah. was good. Yeah, just for a couple of bucks, you got a one-of-a-kind piece of art. Take a look. For artist Elizabeth Posey, the entire world a canvas. It's something I've always wanted to do, and I can't even really explain it past that. Today, she's sewing small felt dolls. This one's name is Jean, um, and it is a poppet that is hand cut and stitched by me. But in a busy city like Omaha, sometimes getting the word out about her art takes her away from making it. That's where the Apollon comes in. The nonprofit Arts Collective has a new project that's bringing art to all corners of the metro. In vending machines, here's how it works. Instead of paying 300 bucks for a giant piece, each machine has a little one-of-a-kind piece from Omaha artists like Posey for just a couple of bucks. Apollon Creative Director Ryan Toole filled this old cigarette machine with flashing lights and three by five inch canvas and Posey's felt dolls. This old snack station is next. It costs a few hundred bucks to fix up one machine. They hope to raise money for that. But then the goal is to get the art into other places than the typical art gallery spaces. Uh, high traffic and unique places in Omaha for these things to turn up so that you so that we can come to you instead of you having to come to us. Vending creativity and creating an interest in art that might not have been there before. All right. And back out here live at the Apollon, I'm joined by some of their actors. In addition to doing some of the, the physical pieces of art, you guys do a lot of performance art too. And I can't help but notice uh, there is a comic book theme art show tonight. We see some of the comic book paintings on the walls, and you look like some of my favorite comic book characters. So tell me your name and what character you are. I'm Emily Hoffman, and I play Black Widow. Wonderful. Elizabeth Posey, and I'm Rogue. And you recognize her because she was making the, the felt pieces in the story. And then your name, sir? John Robertson, and I'm playing Peter Olson. Ooh, wonderful. So I'm seeing a little bit of a combination of Marvel comic books and what's the other one? DC. <laughs> DC <laughs> comic books. So, so tell me a little bit about this show. You guys have an encore performance on the 24th. What's it all about? Well, it's all about this this show is all about combining both elements of DC and Marvel together and we're super excited because we didn't think that we'd do another show but the audience was so excited about it that they voted for another one so wonderful yeah. awesome well we wish you guys break leg on that that's later on this month tonight remember we said Friday 2 on Vinton all these businesses up and down the street will offer you a little bit of a discount we have a list of those with this story online Emily that dream gonna send back it back here yeah, so I was gonna say yeah exactly or somebody give her five bucks and get another one and I had you know? a dream the other day